that's lidocaine in there, 4%. And what he's doing is he's breathing it in. As he's breathing it in, what is he doing? Anesthetizing, yes, above. Below. 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 What nerve is that? So we've got now, after he does that, now we've got all three nerves. I didn't have to poke him with a needle, right? Didn't have to poke him with a needle. Certainly does. Absolutely not. What would you want? Poke him with a needle in your mouth twice, on the side twice, in your cricle, in your cricle thyroid membrane, or would you want this? Yeah, I want this too. Now just to show you guys, I mean, you can actually do a DL just with that. So, I mean, I showed you guys already. Can you tell my voice is changing? Can you tell my voice is changing now? Okay. Oh, a direct laryngoscopy. So I'm going to do one more thing, and I'm going to take some right angle forceps. I'm going to take some right angle forceps, dip them in some 4% lidocaine, and then try and get the um, superior laryngeal nerve. It runs right above your vocal cords, right in the back of your throat on the anterior wall. So, And then I'm going to try to drip a little bit of lidocaine onto my cords. I might cough. If I cough, that's good. So realize this. So right now, he's anesthetized from top to bottom. But remember we talked about what's one of the most stimulating things you're going to do to somebody. You're going to put a tube in him. So he's anesthetized right now. If I were to take something and put it in his mouth and poke him here, he wouldn't feel it. But I'm going to try to, try to, which we haven't done yet, is actually place an endotracheal tube. Okay? So that, and that <laughs> so what that entails is a tremendous amount of very dense sensory block. You understand that? Dense sensory block, meaning that there is no feeling. Otherwise, he'll cough. That you can intubate in case it gets to that point, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I actually can. <laughs> I actually do provide the anesthesia, which is amazing. Which is amazing. Yeah. Which is actually amazing. Yes, I actually can. <laughs> the point. So this is a great question. Do you do this when they have a difficult airway? We went to, me, Sandy, and Jeremy went to a difficult airway course, a really great one last year. We had never seen this, and we watched them do this without needles and <laughs> intubating somebody without anything, just doing this. In the hospitals, you're going to see situations where it's just a big mess. Patients coughing, trying to put the fiber optic scope down, patients bleeding, patients bucking, and we thought, wow, we can do this, and we're just about done. And, and intubate somebody without any kind of needles and without them coughing or bucking. And again, he's got no IV, he's not had any percent. And we have not given him any other PO meds that could alter his level of consciousness. <laughs> Just so that you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, a, a 